Hello, this is Kev, and this is Black Men Being Brutally Honest. And if you haven't already, if you run across this video, go below that screen, hit the like button, uh, you know, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and hit that dislike button, because guess what? Those dislikes help too. Um, anyway, um, I was just thinking, someone asked me a question, and I'll get to that question in just a second. Uh, it's displayed across the top of the screen anyway. Um, but, um, when you think of black motherhood and how it's framed as far as the societal viewpoint, um, it's framed as something that is great. It is, 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 is framed as something that's put on the level of godliness. Um, yeah, cause, um, you know, you have all these little media campaigns, you know, and mother's day, uh, and mother's day does a lot better than father's day. Uh, but every time you hear of, like, I will say a famous celebrity or, you know, a business exec speak of their mother, they speak very highly of her, you know, and Hey, you know what? I love my mother too. <laughs> I do. But is it because of that sentiment is, is that, you know, that contributes to the notion that, uh, the 2019 modern day black woman probably would rather be a mother than a wife. Um, and it really comes from that. It comes from that. And I believe it also comes from the ideologies of Euro feminism. Um, you know, everybody says feminism, this feminism, that, but really feminism comes from Europe is a Eurocentric concept. So I probably refer to feminism more as Euro feminism. And the thing is, um, they, the, the feminist and, you know, which concludes of uh, black feminists and feminists of other races has concluded that there's this thing called patriarchy. That patriarchy is this big, this big boogeyman that is a problem that it oppresses the, the, the average female um, in today's American society thinking, you know, basically say if I was a patriarchal father, which I do feel like that is because of the lack of patriarchy that the black community is in the position that it's in. But there is an existing patriarchy, though. We just like the people like on social media and in other places just like to deny that that patriarchy doesn't exist. But it actually does. It's just that there's no respect for that patriarchy. And I wouldn't say that's totally the black man's fault. Because when you have present dads that are trying, they have their positions denied anyway by society itself. Most of the good accolades and credits go to the mother. Just think about it. When there's a like when there's a professional athlete, when there's someone of prominence accepting the award, the most popular relative that is brought up when they accept the award, right? Even right after they thank God. They're thanking their mother. I will. Uh, I want to thank my mother because you know she is such a great lady. I love her, and I think it's because of this that does kind of contribute to that. But it's also the feminist ideology that having a man around is going to oppress a female. <laughs> yes. So what that does is it causes a lack of compromise and it breaks down the family dynamic as if the husband is trying to be some slave driver that doesn't allow the woman to broaden her horizons and to be great also, that she should just be in the house barefoot and pregnant and should be making sandwiches at request and giving the old shine up job to the Peter. Even though we know the woman can do all of that and still become successful and educated. Yeah, and that's another thing education over having a child around for your, I mean, having a man around for your child. I mean, just because you're educated does not, that should not defeat the family dynamic. And a lot of women do think that. I have nothing against women getting education. That's the whole point. The point is to get smarter and to do what's best for the child. And it seems like what's best for the child is to have both parents around because there is this feminist ideology that says that you don't have to respect the man. You don't have to do what the man tells you to do. You can be strong and independent. 
And, you know, also, you don't have to get married. Marriage isn't for everyone. And you know what? Marriage isn't for everyone. And that's been proven by men and women time and time again. But when it comes to the child, if you're just going to be a person that's full of excuses, then I have to wonder, why didn't you set it up for a father to be there? I know that sounds funny to some out there. Because there are a lot of women out there that say he should have wore a condom. He should have wore a condom if he didn't want a child. I have another question for you. Do you say that around your child? Do you ask that question in an earshot of where your child is? Children are smarter than you think. What do you mean he should have wore a condom? You saying I was a mistake, huh? That's why some of these boys ain't growing up with any self-worth. But then when they go out here and they commit crime, and when they don't have any human value in other people, then you want to say the father isn't there. The father isn't there. Okay, the question is, why the father isn't there? Did you Would you have rather been a mom than a wife? Is that a ridiculous assertion? These women out here are having sex with guys they aren't living with. Unprotected sex. And these are the results. You also have teenage girls having sex that don't know any better because their parents aren't teaching them. And particularly, their mother. Hell, the single mother rate is way too high not to ask these questions in our community. Please let me know if it's a myth, because due to our percentages, it isn't. But so many of our boys and girls go down a beaten path because no one wants to admit accountability. And the one thing is this, every time a child turns out good, all of a sudden, you're the mother and the father. Every time a child turns out bad, his daddy should have been there. So what's the easy fix for this problem? Maybe you should be at least living with the guy. You having sex with people you aren't living with, that stuff can happen. Now, I'm not saying that the child can't turn out good, but these are the facts, or I guess, you know, the opinions of a lot of you out there, with most of you which are female, that you have that the child turns out bad the father needed to be there also why aren't women too keen on checking women on this single motherhood thing because guess what due to feminist indoctrination everything that's bad has to be the guy's fault has to be the man's fault you want equality but you don't want equal accountability which means that you don't want equality at all so let's just let's just start being pro common sense. You can be pro a lot of things. A lot of you aren't pro common sense. Like check this out. If you were truly incapable of raising a child on your own, you have custody of that child and the child goes astray and you said because because the daddy should have been there for their child. Are you a fit mom? I mean, you would like to think so. I mean, there's this idea that you struggled and you tried, but I will say this for any custodial parent. If a child fails, that pretty much falls on you. The environment that you, you know, the environment you provided, the company you kept. Those things. So, so I'm just saying, I'm just saying, if I were to argue on behalf of single mothers, I would not try to establish the ideology that the modern day single mother could not handle her job of raising her kid because it takes more than just having custody of that child. Most uh, most of these mothers out here who complain about daddy's not being there would argue that, well, you know, the child's living with me. I have the child, so that means I was there. And then they throw all kinds of nurturing out the window. And just let me go ahead and just be as candid as possible. There are some lazy bitches out there. I am so sorry. If you feel like I'm bashing black women because I'm more so looking out for the children on this, then hey, I guess I'm just bashing black women. But we should in no way, shape, or form get away with what's happening to the children, despite my feelings on any one singular adult. Period. Point blank end of discussion and those are the facts the fact of the matter is yeah if you rather be a mom than a wife then you need to be prepared to take full responsibility and at the end of the day there are no excuses i don't care what your old feminism tells you because 
if you raise a little creep, society is going to make that little child pay for it. Period. Boy or girl. And I know as a dad myself, I want what's best for my child. I don't want this society to swallow my child because of her irresponsibilities that she may commit if me, myself and her mother don't put her on the right path. So why aren't all parents single or married thinking this way? Yeah, no, they just let some ideology give them an I, you know, give them this notion that they're not accountable or responsible. And hey, if I'm not accountable or responsible, I could just get away with it. Nope. You know why you'll never fully be able to get away with it? Because there are people like me to call your ass out. Be a responsible parent at least. That's all I'm saying at the end of the day. And whether you feel like I'm just scrutinizing women, you really haven't been paying attention to me at all. Not even with this broadcast right here. So, did you go in thinking that you'd rather be a mother than a wife if you happen to come across this broadcast right here? Or, you know, this video. It's not really a broadcast. It's an upload. Do you? Just give me your thoughts in the comment section. And like, share, subscribe, and Kev we trust. Goodbye for now. The Habitual Line Steppers.